Greetings, citizen, and welcome to the verse. Now, I'm assuming that you are already familiar with the basic mechanics of the game, can get yourself and your ship from A to B with no problems, and have been happily pootling around, taking in the sights for a few days or weeks now. Hi, I'm the Whizpig, and this is my top three tips for new players. This is not a beginner's guide. There are plenty of extremely good guides out there already by some exceptionally talented creators that I encourage you to watch. This is just a simple collection of things that help me continue to enjoy this game in spite of its warts and flaws. So let's dive in. So number one, manage your expectations. Disconnects and crashes are frustrating and certain bugs can either ruin your day entirely or motivate you to jump off something high. Despite the jaw-dropping vistas of outstanding ship fidelity, I've often found that it's all too easy to forget that this game is still very much a work in progress. We've come a long way from the first implementation of the hangar module and can expect some really juicy updates in the next couple of weeks or so in the shape of Alpha 3.8, including an entirely new planet crafted meticulously with the latest version 4 iteration of CIG's groundbreaking planet tech, the first rendition of actual weather, including snowstorms and sandstorms, and the hotly anticipated long-range endurance exploration vessel, the Anvil Carrack, which is all very fantastic and wonderful, and we can, at long last, feel somewhat confident that things are progressing in a satisfactory direction and manner. But let's be real, we are still a fair few clicks from a feature complete beta, let alone a fully realized release candidate. If you expect bugs, expect crashes, and just enjoy Star Citizen for what it currently is, an alpha, you won't be disappointed. Number two, trust no one. Unlike Elite Dangerous, there is one game mode and one game mode only in Star Citizen. The full beans or the trimmings cutthroat melting pot with no rules and the potential to be shot in the face, rammed or robbed in the blink of an eye. I have been subject to all of the aforementioned activities and a few more besides, and so I have adopted a somewhat more cautious gameplay style. Basically, everyone you meet is a potential nut job unless proven otherwise. With that said, most of the players that you will meet out there don't want to shoot you in the head and teabag your lifeless corpse while making off with your ship and cargo, though this can happen. And personally, I have made some outstanding friends from random encounters in the game. I mostly operate solo and so I don't have the backup of a gunner or org mates watching my back and so this suspicious style of gameplay suits me just fine. Just be aware of your surroundings, plan your routes carefully and expect danger around every turn. Being prepared for conflict will help you survive to live another day. And finally, number three, don't get hung up on cash. Cash is great and you can buy all kinds of stuff and things with it and coming in Alpha 3.8 will be able to keep many if not all of those wonderful purchases 
from one patch to the next. At least that's the plan. But it's not everything, and you certainly don't need vast piles of it to enjoy the game. When I first started out, fresh-faced and wide-eyed with wonder, I incorrectly thought that I could not possibly be happy in Stanton unless I had acquired a bucket load of Alpha UEC, and so armed to the teeth with an Aurora MR, my newbie pyjamas and a tenacious desire for riches, I set out to grind my way to fame and fortune by any means necessary. Fast forward several days and more than a few, shall we say, mishaps, I finally relaxed in the G-Lock bar in Area 18 with a steaming hot bowl of Big Benny's Finest, a rather bizarre tasting beverage and proudly sporting the kind of smug and content grin that can only be earned by grinding one's butt off. 60,000 Alpha UEC sat burning a hole in my pyjamas and the world was my oyster. I had finally arrived and was expecting my invitation to Gatsby's next party in my Moby Glass any day now. It did not, however, take long to realise that this newfound wealth and fortune in no way afforded me any sort of unique gameplay experiences that were denied my less financially endowed fellow citizens. I noticed this during the first 3.7 to 3.71 update. My newly wiped and shabbily dressed character could still go looking for Marvin, who'd gotten himself lost in a cave on Daymar. Corvalex Shipping still trusts me to courier their yellow boxes of suspicious content from Hurston to Crusader with as much expedited haste as I could muster, and for some reason my personal inbox was still bursting at the seams with offers from individuals whose morals could best be described as questionable. Simply put, an abundance of UEC does not open doors that remain impassable to fresh-faced, less wealthy players. Sure, it facilitates the acquisition of stuff in the shape of superior pyjamas, better weapons and ridiculous looking helmets, you know who you are, but it does not disqualify you from any gameplay at all. As always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to do so. If you like the video, please hit like, and if you'd like to see more, please hit subscribe. Thanks very much.